Hi, in this video, I will explain how you can use Prime NG dropdown in your Angular application. Here you can see a dropdown that is Prime NG dropdown, and we have binded a value down there with this dropdown. So if we change it to New York, we can see here we have New York, and down there we have NY. So we can have a name and a value for our prime ng dropdown that is the basic concept for it whatever value you want to set in your drop down so first of all we will see how we can register it into our application first of all you have to download or install prime ng in your application and then after that in your app module or whatever module you are working you have to register your module prime ng module for specific component like for drop down we have drop down module from prime ng slash drop down we have to define it here import it here in our app module component and then we have to import down there in the import section of our app dot module once you have registered dropdown component in your module, now you can use that component in your application. So the selector for dropdown is p dash dropdown, and these are different attributes of dropdown. So here, first of all, we have option. In option, we can define whatever values we want to show. So here we have cities as option. If I go into the ts file, we have defined an array of city model, which contain two variable one is name and other is code and now we have defined different names for cities and code for like new york we have ny for room we have rm now if we don't want to select new york or whole object and we only want one value from the object like code there we can define it in our component like here we have had option label where we can have our label name like for example we can see here we have label as new york we have label as room but so we have option label as name and option value as code so the value in our ng model will be the code value not the whole object value and next thing we can define as base z index what is base z index if we want our drop down to be in front of all of the component we can define the z index value here like we have thousand here and for example we have 90 or 999 for the city code ny this will still appear in front of it so we can define the base z index here rather than defining separately in the style dot css and we can you can see here when i change the country or city sorry uh, you can see the code is changing we are not seeing the name but the code here in the selected city so that's how you can use the prime ng drop down in your application thank you